All right, y'all. Uh, just got home. Got a nice little shower, so I'm good now. Um, from work, but I'm just here right now just to tell everybody how you know I personally was able to beat diabetes too, as well as uh, my auntie. I had her do the same thing that I did, and she was able to beat it. So, you know, I can't say that it's a, a lot of case studies because I ain't have a lot of people do it, but the two people that I knew had it. I came to them with the information and they was able to get rid of it. So this is pretty much how I figured, found out something was wrong. Um, now I'm a truck driver. So I was driving trucks. Uh, one day uh, I was in Tennessee and I drunk some water or uh, whatever it was. And it ran straight through me. So, you know, I used the bathroom, you know, then I drunk something else and it ran straight through me again. And I knew something was wrong because I kept having to go to the bathroom every time I drunk something. So, I went, uh, when I got back to Mississippi, I went over to my mom's. Uh, they had a, a little a reader for diabetes. And I took it, and it was like 200 and something. So, I told mom, well, you know, you know, she, she panicked a little bit because, you know, it runs in our family. I told her to chill out, you know. It, it'll be all right. Uh, maybe it's just something I ate. So I promised her that if it was high the next day, then I was going to go to the doctor. So I checked it the next day, and it was high. So I went to the doctor. As, as, I, as I said that I was. But, wait, chill out. I'm going by. Hey. Sorry, y'all. I had to chill out real fast. I got to. We, we, we play later. Anyway. Anyway. So, uh, so I go to the doctor, uh, a, a clinic, and then they sh they sh uh, ship me to the emergency room, and then they hospitalized me for how long was it, baby? Three days. Mm -hmm. They hospital they hospitalized me for three days, um, trying to get my my sugar down. It was it was like close to three hundred at the time, and the other level was at nine point four, and they gave me some insulin. And, and etc. So during my discharge date, you know, the doctor finally came in and it was a lady, uh, a black lady. And uh, she came in and she just told me, she said, sir, you got diabetes. Uh, we see that it runs in your family. And, you know, now you have the trait. You, you got it. Uh, it was passed down to you. And now your body just now, I guess, is accepting it, however she tried to put it. But she said, her words were, you would never get over it and i hate needles y'all y'all don't know she said so you got to get and they knew it there too she said you got to get used to poking yourself every single day checking your sugar and if uh like after the three month checkup or whatever if it's not going down then we have to put you on insulin right now we're going to try the pills so she came in with the pills and i told her well ma'am i don't think because I didn't have it like last year and the year before that. So it had to be something that caused it. She was like, yeah, yeah, you know, it's just genetics. It's in your genes. So I said, oh, oh, well, I don't know if it's a for everything. So me and her in there arguing. She's like, well, sir, trust me, it's forever. I've been in the medical field, did blah, blah, this and that. You're going to have it for the rest of your life. Oh, okay. Okay. So she come in with two prescriptions, you know. So I'm asking her, what's this prescription for? You know, so she had me some metformin or whatever it's called and then she had me some pills for uh, blood pressure and I asked her something wrong with my blood pressure was my blood pressure up she's like no I was like well why do I need these pills she, and you can ask my wife she said never mind for the blood pressure pills so she was giving me stuff I didn't even need so anyway I get home and then I check the um, the side effects because you know I was watching GLCC. Now I might not agree with all the doctrine, but they do some good phenomenon um, uh, work about uh, medication and all that stuff. So I start looking at these side effects. Come to find out, the side effect of the metformin pill deals with increasing your blood pressure, and the side effect of the blood pressure pill is increasing your uh, insulin resistance or whatever, making your sugar higher. So, 
theoretically, if I take both of these pills, I'm always going to have high uh, high sugar. I'm always going to be a diabetic, and I'm going to develop blood pressure uh, problems through the medication. Nothing that I'm doing is just the medication. So I can never defeat diabetes because that was my goal was to defeat it. I can never defeat diabetes if I take this medication. So I took it in my head that I wasn't going to take that medication. So I sat down, did a quick YouTube search. You know, how to beat diabetes. and Is there a, a, a cure for diabetes too? And etc. And yes, it was plenty of cures. But uh, let me show y'all something real fast. Just in case uh, people think that I'm just making it up. Let me show y'all something real fast. Let's see here. Babe, is my wish call in there? My prescription. Okay, here you go. Is my, are them diabetes pills that they gave me in there? The diabetes pills, the prescription. What? The prescription to the diabetes pills. The, the diabetic pills they gave me. Hold on, Where are they at? They somewhere in that closet that I spread it out. They ain't in there? It's all in that closet. Look at there. I think they was in there. I think they was in there. Hold on, y'all. Let me find these pills real fast. So I can show y'all. Because it ain't no... No need to say it if I can't find the proof. You sure they ain't in there? You can go check them. Oh, let, me, let me see if they in there real fast. Y'all see, I don't even use the things. Like they've been misplaced. That's my... The whole family. Hey, everybody. Hey, Oh yeah. Y'all can thank y'all for the the stuff that Jamie got today. Thank you, Daddy. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Daddy. What? 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 Thank you, Daddy. I don't. Thank you, Daddy. For thank the hardship, for the drink, and the medication. Babe, we just can't even have uh, medication coming up, Missy. It's in the black thing. Oh. Why you didn't say that earlier? Hold on, y'all. Let me find this real fast. She got we got it in the very bottom of the closet where nobody goes to. Alright, hold on. Wasn't it like in a white bottle or something? You just stunned it. It wasn't in there. Babe, it was in the bottom of the table. I mean, it's all going to be like... For Hold on, y'all. Let me find it real fast. Man, you should have did that before you went live, man. Oh, it was just right here the other day. Oh, here you go, right here. Eh? Everything in there. It's a lot of them, though. Yeah, that's it right there. Most? Hey, you mind? It's smell. No, this is, you might clean it up. Hey, baby, you clean it up. You clean that mess up. No. Yeah, you clean that mess up I just made. <laughs> I clean that mess up later on. Well, here we go right here. Let me make sure it don't got none of my... Y'all see that? Metformin. Then was the pills that they gave me. It's supposed to start off. So, that's my proof. They were trying to get me sold up with it. So... Anyway, so I started doing my research, and it was saying uh, I came across intermittent fasting. And what that is, you know, you pick a certain number of hours to fast, and then within a 24-hour period, and then the rest of the time, you can eat. So I did uh, 16 and 8. So I fasted 16 hours a day. That includes the time that you are sleeping. And I was eating for eight hours a day. So I was doing 16 uh, off, eight hours eating. So now, that's what I did the first day. The second day, I fasted the whole 24 hours. So I did that for two weeks straight. So um, I was, let me, let me take it, let me do it again. Um, intermittent fasting, 
16 off, eight hours eating, and then the next day I would fast the whole entire 24 hours. Then I would come back in with my eight hours of eating, and then I would go my 16 hours. It was, it was some I, I can't remember how I got it right now, but I was doing 24 and 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 16 and eight. So it was it was a while back, but. One day intermittent fasting, the next day 24 hours, then intermittent fasting 24 hours. It's hard, but you got to discipline yourself if you want to get rid of this stuff. And then when I found out that it's actually a, a disease that comes from the American diet, it makes it a whole lot better. So what I did was I researched all of the things that lower your sugar level. So, one of the big things was cinnamon. So, let's see if I can. I got some. I was drinking cinnamon water. Disgusting. And I also was taking. If y'all can see that. Cinnamon supplements. So, that helps uh, level or bring down your sugar level. So, now. I drank plenty of water all those days. Now the water that I was drinking, it was cucumber water. Sometimes I drink cucumber water. Sometimes I would drink lime water. Sometimes I would drink lemon water. So that's all I was drinking. Lemon water, lime water, uh, cucumber water. And when I was eating for my eight hours on, I was eating um, all of the, you know, the vegetation, the things that the Most High gave us to eat in the beginning. I was eating the kale and the lettuce and the cucumbers and, and the uh, tomatoes and et cetera. A lot of the, uh, uh, what's that, watercress or whatever it's called, but a lot of that green vegetables. And then they told me to stay away from fruit, but no, I ate fruit also. The real fruits with the seeds, I was eating the fruit and I was eating the seed with it because that's actually good for you. So I did this for two weeks straight. And then uh, one of those days, I always pick the cheat day to eat some meat. So once a week, I will always eat some meat. So two weeks straight, I did that strict diet. And then on the third and fourth week, um, I was just intermittent fasting every day instead of just doing the 24 hour fast. And after a month, everything was straight. I mean, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of discipline. And what they didn't warn you about is if your sugar level has been high for a long time, when it levels out, your body treats it like you're running low. So if your, if your levels are normal, then your body treats it like it's running low because it's so used to it being high. So even though your sugar levels is normal, you would get the shakes real bad. You would get headaches. And you would do, and I mean, that's terrible feeling. It's a terrible feeling. Until your pancreas kicks back in and your body is, is, is used to your sugar level running low. So it took me about an additional month or a month and a half in order for my body to adjust to being at low levels again. So now I don't have to take the metformin. I don't have to do all that. In fact, right now, I'm just going to do a test run. I'm going to take my sugar right now online. I hate needles, so I'm going to get my wife to do it. Babe, can you come uh, poke me? So we're just going to do a live run. This, this wasn't premeditated or nothing. I'm just here to show y'all that this actually works if you're disciplined enough. So... Also, I don't know how you react or uh, how your body acts to low sugar because once you're going through this intermittent fasting and fasting, your sugar is going to drop down low. So if you're used to running high and if your sugar drops down real low, it's, you're going to feel it in your body. You might feel dizzy and, and nauseated and all that stuff. So I wouldn't advise working around machinery and all that stuff. But how long, babe? <laughs> but uh so you got to pay attention to your sugar because what you're doing is you're depriving your body from all of that toxins and stuff so it makes your sugar drops low because now your body is is doing all the extra work it's doing all that extra work but it don't have that product inside of it to 
push it, if that makes sense. So you're running on fumes, your body's pushing real hard even though you're running on fumes, so your, 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 your sugar level drops real low. And then once you do your intermittent fasting for the first few days, it's gonna go high again, and then it's gonna drop low, then it's gonna go high. So you gotta keep a uh, check on your sugar. But eventually, it'll stay at an average low or where it needs to be. And you don't have to worry about the fluctuation no more. But once you do that, your body is so sensitive to sugar that now you'll start feeling when it's raising up and you'll feel you'll feel it when it's lowering and all that stuff. So it's like you get an extra spidey sense once you do all this stuff. So um, and you would never knew that your body did it on its own if you wasn't used to to having high and low sugar. So this just be something diabetics have. Turn it on. What, which one? Bam. It's two of them. Okay. All right, here we go, y'all. I hate this. You got some alcohol? All right, y'all. You got some, some alcohol in it? Mm -hmm. Right here. You got some alcohol in it? Right Y'all hate this part. You ready? Push it back. No, no, it's already down. Ugh, sorry, y'all hate needles. Hey, go on, put that in there. Hold on, y'all, give me one sec. Go on, put that in there. Wouldn't it be crazy if today is high? <laughs> that would be terrible. They were like, ah, take pills. <laughs> All right, hold on. All right, now. All right, y'all, here goes nothing. Hey, right, babe, come on now. Right, it's something, it's something serious. I'm gonna need you to stand up to do it though. No, I'm gonna need you to stand up. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need that angle. Uh, it hurts. All right, y'all. Y'all wanna see him cry? One, two, three. Uh, oh, he did good today. Oh, man, I gotta stick him again, y'all. Oh, don't look like No, that's it right there. Hold on, get a little bit more out of that. Uh-uh. Man, we should be around with that, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. Are you ready? Hold on, baby. That's got to be enough. All right, yeah, let's try it. All right, it's bingo. I ain't going to look at it. So you, you tell me what it is. You ready? Tell me what Congratulations. Like. Good job. Ooh. What it look like? 98. All right, y'all. Y'all see? Sorry, guys. Gotta go. Head last. That's it. Girl, they can't see that stuff. You make it more off of my 98. So, there you have it. So, that's what I did. It took, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. It took one month from going from metformin, or whatever it's called, one month from going to di from this to them talk about giving me insulin until my body leveling out on its own and I don't need any support from the doctors because their job is not to cure you, it's to make you keep buying more and more medication using your insurance and they don't try to fix the problem, they try to hide the problem. Therefore, as, you, as time get old, as, as you progress in age, more and more stuff on your body start breaking down because it's still producing strange amounts of insulin, but the medication that they're giving you, it's hiding that. It hides it from you. It hides it from the, uh, the little factor that you're checking, but it's still there. It's still there. Whatever that problem is, is making your sugar out of whack. It's still there. So if you do not fix it, it comes back years down the road and it bites you so just to get another recap intermittent fasting uh you can do uh 10 14 if you can't handle the 16 8 i did the 16 8 i also um every other day i fasted 24 hours days and i was you know staying in my prayer and all this stuff praying to the most high for giving me strength and stuff you know some days i was weak because my sugar was real real low coming in off of that 24 hour fast but you know i come right back um eat cucumbers you know eat some lettuce eat some kale 
push myself, you know, thank the most high again, do the intermittent fasting, my 18, sorry, my 16, eight. And I did that for two weeks. In the meanwhile, drinking plenty of water, putting that lemon water in my body, uh, putting that lime water in my body, putting the cucumber water in my body, letting it circulate, letting it do things to your organs, how it should be, because we're supposed to be eating vegetables every day anyway. And plus, this is why the most high put it on the planet for, uh, for healing. It's for healing. I don't know if y'all uh, look at, um, have read, I think it's Jasher, or might be Jubilees, where it said that uh, Moses uh, was, no, sorry, not Moses, Noah was taught how to create um, medicine in order to heal his sons from all of the things that they was going through, dealing with the demonic uh, attacks and stuff. So, all of that stuff was dealing with uh, food, the, the proper food, the vegetation that they was eating. So, uh, rely on your vegetation. Put that green vegetables in your body. Eat that fruit. Eat them seeds. You know, uh, research the intermittent fasting and, and keep that fluid up and check your numbers until it levels out. And there you have it. It took a month. My auntie, they gave my auntie the same spill. And then my first cousin had her call me. And I told her exactly what. I'm telling you all, and she was like, boy, you crazy. I ain't doing none of that. Guess what? She got tired of poking herself, and she did it for, I think, two weeks. Her sugar level, she didn't have to do it, like, as hard as I was doing. She was just doing the intermittent fasting. She wasn't doing it 24 hours. She was just doing the intermittent fasting and eating more green vegetables and the water and all that stuff. She leveled out in two weeks. Two weeks. Leveled out straight ain't took another pill or shot or none of that stuff two weeks two weeks try to tell my dad he didn't want to listen so he's going through the medical problems right now dealing with diabetes because he wished to trust his doctor over proof so you know y'all pray for my father I'm still praying for him but diabetes too definitely curable definitely curable so hopefully i'll come in later I'll talk, all right. hopefully you all got a deep understanding of what i was saying uh, this is on live so you can go back and play it you can also just go on the computer and just research intermediate fasting and, and etc or uh how to cure diabetes too and it, it'll be all there for you all of it there laid out for you. Just follow those steps and it work. Hopefully that makes sense. So quit, let, quit letting them doctors uh, tell you things that doesn't make sense. How can you get a food? How can you get a disease or whatever they want to call it from eating too much processed food and your body can't get rid of it if you stop eating the processed food? That doesn't even make sense. It's a money game. It's a money game. They don't care really about your health. They want to hide it. They want to put a blanket over the problem instead of fixing the problem. So, that's all I got to say. Uh, hopefully, y'all do it. If y'all do it, if you know anybody to do it, just tell them to do it. And come back at me in two months or one month and tell me how it worked out for them. But tell them, make sure you pay attention to your sugar level. And... Cause I mean, I ain't seen nobody who only did, me and my auntie only did this, so it's not like we have a wide study or wide variety of people that did it, that didn't, that failed at it, or some of that stuff, so I'm just saying, go out and do it and try, why not try it, but pay attention to your sugar level, because you don't want it to drop while you're driving, you pass out, and you run into somebody and kill yourself and kill them, you don't want to do that, okay, you want to make sure you are in environments that you can't hurt yourself because your sugar was going to drop. And once your sugar drops, you get weak, dizzy, could pass out. So make sure you got some support. Make sure you got the right support. Make sure you're in the right locations, but you can beat it. Stay determined. All praises to the most high. I'll talk to y'all later. All right, shalom.